，用手拿起金融卡刷卡，或是移动水杯。这些对平常人来说是再容易不过的动作，但对瘫痪病患伊安来说，却是苦苦等了好几年的惊喜。外科医生在伊安的大脑里植入了豆子般大小的晶片，这个晶片能透过头顶的电缆传送讯息到伊安手臂上的电极，跳过了伊安受损的脊髓，让伊安可以利用意念在电极的刺激下，让手部肌肉产生运动。You know, for the first time of being able to move my hand, it was a big shock. Because you know it's something that I haven't hadn't moved in about three and a half years at that point. Ian, in his 19th birthday, was killed in a skydiving accident. Now, at 24 years old, he finally managed to use this amazing technology to move his hand. The biggest dream would be to get full function of my hand back, both my hands. You know, because then that allows you to be a lot more independent and not have to rely on people for kind of simple day-to-day tasks that you take for granted. 俄亥俄州立大学的神经外科医生阿里雷泽表示，这是脑机界面技术演化的重大里程碑。We're thrilled that Ian has progressed significantly with this technology over the past year, and this really provides hope, we believe, for many patients in the future as this technology evolves and matures. 目前这项技术还在实验阶段，科学家希望下一步能运用无线系统，让伊安的梦想成真。